Hello everyone, my name is John Neil Rice. I'm going to take you through one of my songs called Ordinary. We're just going to talk through the recording of the song, talk about some of the theory behind it and also the production techniques and hopefully you get some value out of what I'm talking about today. So we start off with the drums. So ordinary is in the key of B minor, so we have It's the minor pentatonic scale But this song is largely based around So just going to take you through some of the elements of the song um, If we start with one of the busier sections And talk you through the core components So starting with the drums So that kind of hip hop feel to it. And that bass drum part is really just accentuating what's going on with the core rhythm and the guitar. So you can the bass The an emphasis on the nine, so the two of the scale as well. Which is C sharp. So you'll hear that. Adding to that sort of Latin flamenco feel, there's a real syncopated part in the piano as well, which I'll just bring in. Really syncopated, offbeat rhythm. Lots of live percussion going on here as well, so got shakers, claps, beatbox, clicks and snaps, so that's really just clicks of the fingers and various other things, and then very small djembe. <laughs> so you can hear that there. It's got a lot of room sound. Got those clicks and snaps just reinforcing the downbeat.
and as you can hear in the song there's a flamenco technique going on as well so sort of the hits on the guitar finger style very rhythmical um, inspired by latin guitar playing so i'll just kind of demonstrate that how it goes on with the chord progression do all these four kind of triplet techniques, uh, 16th note techniques to add to that rhythmical flair. And then that's all backed up by the bass guitar. That's the kind of core of the core of the harmony and the, of the melody itself. As I say, it's all based on that B minor pentatonic with a real emphasis on the second degree of the scale, which is C sharp. So if we just kind of take the song from the start, talk through some of the elements and dive into some of the techniques that are going on in here. So starting out with the guitar playing with that style. So if we just look at the backing vocals individually as well. It's a lot of different layers of harmony. 
Again, I'm recording these in and not doing too much. I'm relying very much on UED sort of interface, bringing in a good level of uh, EQ and compression and warmth from the, the preamp. And then once it does get into logic, I'm just lightly touching it just to really give it what it needs in the track. Oh, Stream EQ curve 7 dB at 12k there, um, but that's really just wanted it to sparkle at that high. Adding a little bit of top end of 5k here with the alt it. You can do the that that plugin does. I thought that was a bit great, and adding a little bit more guffs again at 100. It sets a bone in this song, just pans slightly to the right. Just to contrast the music. Just lastly on the mastering, so chain just rolling off 20 a little bit, clean it up, a little bit of the low mids um, pulling out there, and then adding a little bit of presence at 2k, going into the CLA mix down, so it's quite aggressive on the treble there, 8dB, so 1dB of compression on the master bus, and then I've kept the drive in as well, just slight saturation on the signal. Using the same chain filter up to 500 hertz so that none of that low end bass is being compressed. It's all getting to pass through and be nice and consistent and loud. Again, the pulse. And then I was using the new Logic mastering tool as well just to even out some of the EQ in there, add a little bit of width. I find that quite useful for myself. Just when I've been listening to the track for so long and I'm needing that final bit of polish on the track, it's good to get a wee assistant from the plugin within Logic there. And then lastly, the L2 limiter. Such a magic plugin to glue that final track together and give it the loudness it needs without crushing it too heavily. See what the threshold's doing there, and um, just bringing the overall level up. There we go, so I hope you enjoyed this breakdown of Ordinary. I'll be doing more of these videos, so I'll be back soon with um, breakdowns of songs and talking a, a little bit about the music theory, the production side of things, and some of the techniques that I'm using to create these songs. So hope you found something valuable in it, and I'll see you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.